Every day, around 200,000 kilos of tomato sauce are produced at this factory. To make that much sauce, enormous harvesters gather millions of fresh tomatoes. But how exactly is tomato sauce made on such a large scale? In this video, we'll uncover the fascinating process behind the mass production of one of the world's most beloved sauces. During tomato harvesting season, this factory processes up to 50 million kilos of tomatoes each year. In the United States, 95% of the tomatoes harvested come from California, where warm days make for incredibly flavorful tomatoes. Farmers grow a thick-skinned, firm tomato variety, ideal for machine harvesting and sorting without damaging the flesh. Two or three weeks before harvest, the plant's water supply is cut off. This dry period intensifies the tomato's pulp, making it denser and meatier. After 90 days on the plant, the tomatoes are ready for harvest. Technology has revolutionized the tomato industry. These harvesters are like factories on wheels, operated by four skilled workers. Sharp blades cut through roots, feeding the tomato plants onto a conveyor belt. The plants are carried upward, where metal prongs shake the tomatoes free from their vines, separating the fruit from the stems. Any leftover plant waste is released behind the machine, where it decomposes as fertilizer for next year's crops. Yet, even these powerful machines pick up things we don't want, dirt, rocks, and unripe tomatoes. A laser scanner identifies any non-red items, removing unripe tomatoes from the batch. Only the ripest, reddest tomatoes are transferred into a trailer that moves alongside the harvester. Each of these trailers can carry up to 300,000 tomatoes. Every day, about 24 trailer loads are filled, each with exactly 22 tons of tomatoes, ensuring the fruit stays intact during transport. Once the tomatoes reach the factory, they're unloaded into a water tank, where they float out through a side gate. Every day, two and a half million tomatoes are brought into the plant from July to October. First, a water jet propels the tomatoes down a steel canal, where the soil and debris slip away through slits in the belt. The tomatoes are then channeled into a fresh water canal, where stones sink and are removed. This process not only cleans but also cushions the tomatoes, preparing them for further processing. In the first cleaning tank, gentle water jets keep the tomatoes in motion, softly washing them. Then, they're sorted as they travel up a conveyor belt, sprayed to remove any leftover dirt. An electronic sorter discards any damaged or discolored tomatoes in mere seconds. Those that pass the test move on to the next stage, peeling. The tomatoes are dipped in a hot bath to loosen their skins before being fed through a peeling machine that gently removes the skin while keeping the flesh intact. A water jet rinses off any remaining bits of skin. These peeled tomatoes are then transferred to another conveyor belt, where they're sprayed once more and portioned for further processing.
The tomatoes then head to a high-speed slicer, where two giant stainless steel blades chop them into pieces, almost too fast for the eye to follow. These chopped tomatoes go by a final inspection, where workers remove any bits that aren't perfectly red. Meanwhile, empty aluminum cans are lined up and prepared for filling. Air jets ensure they are dust-free before they reach the filling station. Next, the chopped tomatoes enter a crushing machine, reducing them to a puree. Special blades cut and blend the tomato smoothly, making it easier to mix them with other ingredients. The puree then passes through a series of filters to remove any seeds or skin fragments, resulting in a smooth, consistent tomato sauce. This filtering not only perfects the texture but also extends the sauce's shelf life. Once filtered, the puree heads to large stainless steel vats for cooking. Steam heated and continuously stirred, these vats ensure the tomatoes don't stick or scorch. In a separate pan, onions and garlic are carefully fried, releasing a rich aroma that will blend with the sauce. About 9 kilos of fresh garlic and onion are fried in sunflower oil, which is then added to the tomato mixture along with salt, sugar, spices, and vinegar. The mixing process is essential to achieve a uniform flavor and texture. The ingredients simmer for 20 minutes, blending beautifully into a rich, flavorful sauce. From there, the sauce is pumped through pipes to the pasteurization room, where it's heated to high temperatures to kill any bacteria and increase shelf life. After pasteurization, the sauce is cooled and transferred to the filling room. Here, cans or bottles line up to be filled with sauce, one after the other. The filling machine pumps the sauce into each aluminum can before they move to the sealing station. Steam pushes out any remaining air, and the cans are sealed with a lid for an airtight finish. This secure seal, combined with the aluminum's protective barrier, allows the sauce to stay fresh for up to 9 months. Finally, the bottles are labeled and packaged, ready to be shipped to stores worldwide. If you're curious about how other popular sauces, like mayonnaise, are made, check the link in the description and in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who'd love to learn more. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to keep exploring with us. Thanks for watching.